check this and it's still not sunk so I'm going to press and then this is after an hour so I'm going to change what I am doing just a little bit and I'm going to press down on it just enough so that some water comes onto the top and then I'm going to leave it again and come back and check it in a little bit okay so the underside of this has sunk, but the top part still hasn't. So I'm just going to poke this a little bit and get a little more water over to these spots. And then check it back in a second. Ah, and these are even already, they're starting to soak up the water now that I've helped them out a little bit. So we'll check this out in a few minutes. Okay. So it's sunk all the way down now. All the bits are down below the water and have been for a few minutes, so we're good. We'll take this out and um, I'm going to lift it and just gently squeeze it. I don't want to wring it out or anything because that will um, stress out the fabric. So I just want to squeeze it out to get the most of the water out first. Put it on that towel right there. Move the water. And again. Lay it out. And then I'll just roll it up. And I'll take it over and step on it to get the bulk of the water out. Okay, so now I stepped on it and squashed it. And it's really not very wet at all. And I'm ready to lay it out and block it. So we'll move our towel out of the way now. And I usually don't weave my ends in until after I've finished the blocking process. Because it's difficult sometimes if you need to stretch it to a certain point to weave in the ends first and make sure that you're going to have enough stretch and enough room. So. This is a very <laughs> malleable fabric and it kind of shows one of the challenges of blocking sometimes. What shape do you need to make it? How do you need to organize it and straighten it out? So this is a, this is a tricky one too because it's a cowl. So I have to make sure I get the underside as well and we get that as even as possible. So, all right, that looks pretty good, it looks pretty even. Let's measure it and see what we've got. So it's 14 inches, 20 and 8 inches long now, round, and I'm just going to check to make sure that it's fairly consistent all the way down so I don't have a super thin spot because sometimes it'll look like you do and your eyes will kind of play tricks on you from perspective and stuff. So having a ruler or measuring tape handy is always a good plan. So for so this is 
six and three quarters. So we kind of want to make sure that each point we check, we're at six and three quarters, and here we're at just six and a quarter. Okay. Okay. That looks pretty good. Again, not quite. And again, as I'm straightening this out, as I'm pulling this, I want to make sure that I'm not, I'm not getting, um, I'm getting the underside as well, that I'm getting what's underneath and not just pulling the top because then I'll have a, a wonky lopsided section on just one side. That's pretty good. Alrighty, so now we'll just leave this, we'll just leave this one out to dry and then we'll check in with it. Now I could have used blocking wires, I could have used a bunch of other things, I could put some stands in so that there wasn't a really hard seam there. And so now that I've got it out, I might, now that I've got it, got it where the, to the measurements that I want, I may try to soften that just a little bit so that I don't get a hard, um, fold line. I don't want a fold line there. That's the word I was looking for. All right, just kind of do a quick little spot check and it looks like we've got it about even all the way down. Okay. So we'll check back in later. I hope you found value in this tutorial. If you have, please consider a one-time payment via PayPal or a regular subscription via Patreon. The links are down below, and they are on the screen. Again, thank you for joining me. See you next time. <laughs>